Amagi Metals, where financial freedom is yours. What do Michael Allison, Tawanda Moore, and Chris Drew have in common? They all live in Illinois, and they were all threatened with years in a cage for recording their interactions with police. Allison was charged with five counts of wiretapping for a total of 75 years in prison. Tywanda Moore recorded a conversation with two Chicago police investigators. It happened at police headquarters while she was filing a complaint against another officer who she says groped her at an apartment on the south side. She could have faced up to 15 years behind bars. Well, a Chicago artist is facing 15 years behind bars. He was selling his silkscreen patches for a dollar each and he videotaped that arrest. Due to some asinine legislation called the Illinois Eavesdropping Act, those folks and others were targeted because they sought to create an objective record of their interaction with police employees. After a bevy of court battles in which judges and juries found the Eavesdropping Act without merit, it is now no longer on the books. Yet after years of harassment spearheaded by people like Anita Alvarez, the state attorney for Cook County, some are still hesitant to film the police. So when in Chicago, as part of the police accountability tour, we hit the streets to help set the record straight. Oh, that was quick. 7714. Howdy. How you doing? I'm just curious to hear uh, your thoughts on folks uh, filming police in Chicago. Officers well, within the law, I don't care. Okay. Hey, okay. good afternoon. Why are you guys recording me? Oh, I'm just interested in recording, and I was actually going to ask you uh, if how you felt about the people's right to record in, in Chicago here, because... I don't think I should be recording. How about if I record you? Sure. I That's cool. You do I. I've seen your videos before. Cop block? Yeah. yeah. Do you like them? Wait, there is a Welcome Leo's yeah. page on the uh, site, if you have the time and interest to check it out. Yeah. It talks about... Uh, you know, providing the provision of safety or security through consensual interactions. Okay. Have you ever arrested a colleague for acting outside the law? Uh, no, I never had to. Have you, are you aware of any of your colleagues acting outside the law? No, I'm not. So all your colleagues you've known have acted properly within Absolutely, the law? Absolutely, 100%. So you wouldn't have a problem with all of their actions being filmed and, and made public then? I would, yeah. yeah. You should film politicians too. Right. Have a nice day. Yeah, you as well. See ya. How you doing, man? Good, and yourself? Pretty well, how y'all? What's up? I know, we just saw some lights out. We'd come down and document, make sure I there's a... they were getting parking tickets for parking I... on State Street. I'm not sure what was going on. I, I just... Oh, that's fine. I got nothing to hide. No. Can I get y'all's name and badge numbers, please? No. That's not a... Got a consent. That's not a policy of y'all's to... No, not if I'm getting film. Okay. What are your thoughts on people filming police out in public? Everybody's got a right to do what they want, man. Okay. Awesome. My name's Garrett, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm Pete. <laughs> yeah, my, my name is Pete. All right, guys. All right. Well, make it safe. We even saw others documenting police activity. With the exception of Mr. Omero, badge 2088, who works out of the Chicago Police Outfit's 20th District, no one told us that we could not film. You could dial 311, and they'll transfer you at no charge and you could discuss with them the procedures to film within a city building, a city-owned building. Okay, so okay. you're communicating that people are not allowed to film in public buildings without... I'm not saying public buildings, I'm saying city buildings, oh, okay? okay? City buildings, police department. If you would like to film, and I ask you please turn off your cameras right now, because you are filming, you need to contact our news affairs people. So there's a distinguished differentiation between city and public buildings? Sir, I'm, I'm stating if you're filming in a Chicago police station, you need to contact our news affairs. Please turn off your cameras because it is all authorized filming right now in the police station. You have to clear it with our Things can only change for the better as more folks take the initiative to film the police. Not only when you, yourself, are stopped, but when you happen upon a police interaction involving another. If we don't fight for our freedoms right here at home, we're all going to lose them.